Skip it up and that up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I actually bought this for myself, and that's what made me think about putting this as an affiliate link in the description of this video. Right now on Amazon, there is a hard drive from Seagate that is eight terabytes that has a USB hub built into the front of it so you could plug in other thumb drives, you could charge your phone from it, going right now for 180 US dollars. It usually goes for 250 bucks. When I saw the price of that, I got it right away. It's Seagate, it's a name brand, and eight terabytes. Do you know what you could do with eight terabytes of storage, especially with how much HD video I have and crap like that? So I picked it up. I think it's a no-brainer if you need external storage for you to get it to. Again, there'll be a link below in the description if you wanna check out the Seagate Backup Plus eight terabyte hard drive. So there are some interesting rumors going around about the Nintendo Switch and its future. And these rumors aren't coming from little birds on Reddit or Neo gaff they're actually coming from analyst groups like citigroup and what citigroup believes that in the fiscal year starting in march of 2019 nintendo is going to release a mini switch so citigroup thinks there are a couple shortcomings to the nintendo switch even though it's selling really well right now especially in the states they think that even though it's a hybrid console that you know you could switch easily back and forth between docking it and playing on your tv and then taking it on the go is that it's still too big especially for kids. They don't think it's portable enough. So they think what Nintendo is gonna do is release a Switch Mini a couple years from now, actually a little less than a couple years from now, and they're gonna to try to target the Switch Mini towards kids. They think it'll be smaller, around like five inches. It won't have detachable Joy-Cons. It'll have permanently built-in controllers because again, it's gonna be a dedicated portable console. They don't think it's actually gonna be a hybrid where you could dock it like the full-size Switch. They think it's just gonna be a dedicated console to appeal to a market that may just want a smaller switch or younger kids who may need a smaller console to actually make it comfortable for them to hold. They still think it's going to maintain the 1280 by 720 resolution LCD screen, but they think it's going to be smaller. Their only concern, as Citigroup said, is that they're afraid that the battery life may suffer because of this, but they also feel that Nintendo will be able to optimize the Tegra system on a chip that the Switch has and make it more battery efficient and make it less power Hungry. Now you're probably thinking I have a real strong stance in either direction on this where I think, oh, that would be a great idea to have a Switch Mini or, oh, that would be a terrible idea to have a Switch Mini. I see positives and negatives on both sides, okay? I saw Shane from Rerez on YouTube. I'll have a link to his channel below. It's an awesome channel. I, I suggest you guys go check it out. And he thinks it's a bad idea. And I agree with his reasoning because if you make a Switch Mini, which you can't switch into a home console, which is the whole reason that Nintendo's newest console is called the Switch because you could switch to a home console to a portable just by taking it out of the dock, then it's not a Switch. And it kind of defeats the purpose of the Nintendo Switch. So it's like, uh, I don't know if that's a good idea. So I could see where Shane from Rerise is coming from that, with that, where it, it's possibly a bad idea. But on the flip side of that, hear me out, okay? If Nintendo decides that they wanna stop supporting the 3DS, which I just have this cut feeling that if the, th the Switch sales keep up the way they are, that they're gonna do that. A Switch Mini, even if it's just a dedicated portable console, as long as it has the same capabilities and plays the same games as the full-size Switch, would be a great successor to the 3DS. Think about it. Smaller console, it's portable, so you could use it like you use the 3DS, okay? It'll be something that's more pocketable. It plays the same games as full-size Nintendo Switch. It's not cut-down hardware, and it would be a great successor to the 3DS. It would be obviously more powerful, because obviously the Switch is way more powerful than the 3DS. And Nintendo would only have to worry about making games for the Switch hardware because the Switch games, because the Switch Mini would still have the same capabilities, same Tegra Maxwell system on a chip, the games would work on the full-size Switch and the Switch Mini. So not only would the Switch Mini be a great upgrade and a great successor to the 3DS, it would be a very smart and cost-efficient successor to the 3DS for Nintendo because all the Switch games will work on the Switch Mini. And for that younger demographic that City Group feels that may not be comfortable with the Switch in its current form, the Switch mini would be more appealing to them because it would be smaller and more comfortable to hold so i don't know man I, I see it from both perspectives i see the glass half empty perspective where coming out with a switch mini that you can't 
can't switch into a home console may confuse the general consumer and hurt the whole concept of the Switch and may in the end confuse people. And I could see how having a Switch Mini becoming a successor to the 3DS would be a really good idea because Nintendo could just make games for the full-size Switch and the Switch Mini and they would be the same exact games. They wouldn't have to make games for different platforms like they do now with the Switch and the 3DS. So to be honest, I don't know. I I'm actually confused on this one. I could see how having a Switch Mini could be disastrous and I could see how a Switch Mini could be really successful for Nintendo. So if it does happen and they, they do come out with the Switch Mini in 2019, we'll just have to wait and see how it performs. So leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think that a Switch Mini would be a good idea or would it dilute the whole Switch concept and the whole Switch marketing thing that Nintendo is doing an awesome job with right now? I'm interested to see what you have to say. This is Rich Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one.